We are listening to Luke's Gospel these Sundays of Ordinary Time. And Luke is quite drastic at times, especially about Jesus' invitations to discipleship. And we hear a very outrageous, in a way, uh, invitation that those who want to be his disciples must let go of mother, father, sister, brother, and even wife. And that seems not only drastic, but uh, counter to our Catholic sense of family and marriage. So we have to unpack that um, there are many ideals in the Catholic Church, and uh, they are lofty and sometimes impossible. And so people say, well, I can't do it, I can't do it perfectly. So it seems that Jesus is calling us to experience our negativity, our inferiority, our frailty in such a way. Why do that? Why do anything that is a negative experience? Maybe once or twice, but to live unable. Say, I don't like the experience of not being able. And then they say, and they, there's two stories. One is of a person who wants to build a tower, of course you make sure you have enough materials to build a tower. And if you're going to be a military leader, you better have enough troops and equipment to succeed in your military maneuvers. So then you look, well, do you, do you have enough to follow Jesus? Are you free enough from family and any obligations just to follow Jesus? You say, I don't think so. <clears throat> and so a lot of people leave the Catholic Church because of its interpretation of the ideals as commands and laws rather than graceful invitations. Keep coming. There's a little story there was an advertisement on the radio in Chicago years ago for a type of brand of bread. And um, the, the commercial went like this, that the, the little boy says to his mom, Mom, your rules around here are, they're hard for me. So I have decided to run away from home. His mom said, you're gonna run away from home? I said, yes. And he says, I'm all packed. So he picks up his little bag and he walks to the door and he turns to his mom and says, um, mom, would you please make me lunch? And she says, sure. And can you use that good bread? He says, sure. So he, she makes some lunch and she says, well, goodbye now. Uh, and what about dinner? He said, oh, I'll, I'll be home for dinner. He was just running away for a little bit. That's cute. Do we have enough to follow Jesus? It's this enoughness, and we've spoken of it before. Do I have enough? faith, hope, and love? Do I have enough courage? Do I have enough patience? Do I have enough forgiveness? If I'm gonna to go to war against evil, I better have all these things. I better be equipped to accomplish the task. If I'm going to be a person of virtue, I better have all the virtues. And until I have all the virtues, I'm not going to be a disciple, I'm not going to be public. 
So is Jesus, Jesus in some ways is making sure that nobody follows him. The invitation to leave all human relationships. What does he mean by that? Well, there have been a lot of commentators, so I'm gonna give you mine. I think Jesus is asking, can you let go of obsession, obsession about yourself? Can you move beyond natural family ties for the distribution of your bread. Yeah. Are, you, are you tied down to family, husbands, wives, friends? Are you tied down to them in such a way that you can't go with them and beyond them? The question for Jesus is always, can you come follow me? Can you pick up the cross of your life? Can you pick up the cross of your life, mainly yourself, with your frailty, with the inability to let everything go? Can you, can you pick up what's real as well as what's ideal? That the apostles who followed Jesus, as you know, were fragile and fearful and didn't have all the answers, nor all the virtues. Maybe the cross to pick up is the cross of ourselves as we really are, as our life conditions reveal to us who we are. Or do we put down that cross? I'm not picking that cross up until I can embrace it perfectly, totally. No, there's nothing in spirituality that is with all my heart. I'm totally forever. We, 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 we live with ideals. In marriage we say I'm with sickness and in health, and good times and in bad. Are you really? Are you, are you proposing something that is real? No, you're saying, I commit myself with my reality to your reality. We do that with God. We say, I commit myself insofar as I can. I want to, but my want to exceeds my can. So I pick up my life and God says, I will pick it up with you. I will keep inviting you, not to leave family, but to leave them as the only thing in your life. Can you move beyond with your family, with the love in your family? Can you extend me through you beyond your families and friends? That's mission. That's what we're called to. Remember, we're not Catholics because we go to church. We're Catholics because we leave it, live it, reveal it. And we return to be encouraged in the reception of the word and the Eucharist, to be encouraged to keep going out, going beyond, picking up our cross of frailty and doing his work. <laughs>